ladies and gentlemen, I hope I talk loud enough. Uh, good morning. Human mind has a special characteristic. It can see the patterns. Patterns in space, patterns in time, patterns in light, sound, numbers and events. These characteristics made for the human the difference between what we know as life and chaos. The human brain rewards us every time we spot a symmetrical something with a special emotion. This emotion in fact, when we see a symmetry, is because the symmetry contain a lot of useful information till the chaos seems to be empty. In fact, our profession of scientist could resume as definition at activity as finding extract, uh, ex, extracting uh, the patterns through the health in fact that it is so one of the domains of science which deal with patterns is complex systems complex systems which deal with the uh, systems on which part interacts one each other. As a subdivision of complex systems, we have a still intriguing uh, physical phenomenon, the self-assembly. The self-assembly means that distinct part which interacts and find in disordered state could self-organize self in some conditions through uh, final patterns without the human intervention. We study this phenomena by using usually a colloidal uh, a, a spherical, submicron spherical a colloidal solution which by putting a drop or a film on a substrate after the solvent evaporation we obtain a solid of closed packed spheres which in some condition they are ordered um, in a pattern in a pattern in a final pattern these patterns are called usually um, artificial opals or colloidal crystals. They are similar somehow with the natural crystals, but they form lattices, usual hexagonal or square uh, lattices, but uh, instead an atom in each point of the lattice, we have a, this kind of sphere. Artificial opals or colloidal crystals has some specific properties and they are challenging to photonic crystals, which usually are fabricated by top-down methods, the self-assembling being one of the bottom-up methods. And it wins at the low price category and in some futures uh, let it open yet um, some kind of special structure for example a top-down method such as um, lithographic methods UVBs or electron lithography has difficulties to form shaped in the third dimension structures oh usually resume 
to single layers of uh, arise. A second challenge is uh, addressed to uh, so-called three-dimensional ordered mesoporous materials, which, uh, because they are pores between sphere, the inverted, the opals or colloidal crystals allow the moving of fluids as gases and liquid and can be transformed in uh, microfluidics or optofluidic devices. This one. These are uh, optical microscopy images and electron microscopy imaging of the surfaces of such colloidal crystals with spheres in the nanometric range. And you can see here how they form a hexagonal lattice. Also, they can form single layer, B layer, two dimensional thin films or thick films. Here is a example and the methods for obtaining a thick uh, colloidal crystals. Inside of such crystals, and you can see the degree of uh, organization. In fact, we do not have a single crystal, but rather a polycrystalline material, yes. And depending on the method, we have uh, larger or uh, lower single domain as size. A single layer or B layer, this uh, colloidal crystals can be used as lithographic masks in what is called a uh, lithograph, a colloidal lithography, an analog of classical lithography, but uh, instead of the lithographic mask, we form single or double layer of this kind of sphere. Um, vapors of metal um, are infiltrated through the pores of the film, condense the substrate, the sphere are dissolved, and we obtain a rise of nanometric metals with, with nanometric size, a rise. Also, we can use liquids, precursor polymers usually, to infiltrate this kind of colloidal crystal and after solvent evaporation, uh, casting of the respective material and sphere dissolution by thermal calcination or chemical, um, we obtain what is called a inverted opal or inverse opal, a kind of a porous, three-dimensional porous material, a kind of sponge material, a solid sponge, in which we have ordered voids, interconnected ordered voids in that materials of the nanometric size, or however, submicrometric size. You can see how they look, some of this fabricated by us. Another few image of their surface of the inverted opals. And here for uh, scanning an electron microscopy of inverted opals, which were infiltrated, casting and so on with diverse uh, materials, uh, natrium chloride, sulfur, ketosan, or bleaching. 
As optical properties mainly resume at Bragg diffraction, but there are also uh, some interesting phenomena such as superfeeds and super lens effect. This colloidal crystals by Bragg diffraction uh, seems different color for different angle of incidence of the light. And if we uh, perform an UVVIS lithography, we can see how the uh, reflection maximum or minimum if it's in transmission uh, shift with the variation of the incident angle. Just we see different color at different angles. This is the super stream effect in some colloidal crystal publicated by us. And this is the right hand behavior of such materials. The, the light is not reflect, refracted in the classical uh, angle, in the classical plane. It's reflect, refracted in the same plane. But uh, what it has remarkable, it's keep by transmission a highly, highly intensity of the light. And um, is used usually, or at least is proposed to be used in the modern spectrophotometers because in the classical glass prism used for dispersion of the light in uh, some angle, this disperses the white light, light in a much, much huge angle than classical prism and in plus can be miniature light. Also, they can be used as uh, scaffold for um, cell and tissue uh, cell and tissue engineering. <laughs> However, if we have uh, large enough spheres to the voice between them to be on the dimension of the cells, of course. Or we can introduce nanoparticles with the same conditions to so we obtain inverted opals, this solid sponge with interconnected ordered voice composed formed by particles, nanoparticles, which, keep, which keeps their qualities. So, usually classical colloidal crystals are such as bricks with flat surfaces, which Bragg diffraction works very well. But sometimes we would need to have more than one uh, band gap, light band gap, two or three, or um, to have besides diffraction optics also uh, physical optics such as um, focus to have a beam which can be diffracted and focused in the same time. The flat uh, colloidal crystal do not allow this. And for this, it starts to appear um, some colloidal crystal main super colloidal crystal superstructures. In fact, imagine um, tens of micrometer sphere compost, composed of nanometric spheres ordered on the spherical surface, a sphere of spheres. Yes, and you have some image here, but uh, also different shaped pattern structure curved or straight in all the three dimensional such as in the natural uh, living beings, uh, it would be well to be constructed. 
So we trying to publicate such of this shaped colloidal crystal in all of the three direction, not only in in x y uh, plane. The first attempt was by using a special effect, edge effect of William Gibbs a few hundred years ago, and which is not very well known. We used and they obtained something uh, on the right, macroscopic ring colloidal crystals with a single curved surface. And because it's curved, uh, didn't obey to Bragg uh, law. It uh, keeps its color under any angle. Didn't change the color by the changing um, incident angle. Some of this was this is a scan electron microscopy inside the crystal. And the second attempt was to obtain, and we obtained by using some polymer nets to order the silica and polystyrene nanometric sphere in triangular prism, in very well ordered triangular prism. But this triangular prism form as a unit of a more larger uh, pattern, a net which can have billions of these uh, units. And after that, even each unit can be modifi modified and uh, becoming more complex. This system could be transformed an inverted opal superstructure, super net, how could you, could I name, uh, see, we see in the up uh, image, an inverted, that is um, holes, regular holes in a triangular prism-like shape in a square net of hundreds of, of tens of centimeters. And also, we are curious to see if this film, pattern film, can serve as lithographic masks, even they have more than two layers. And they obtain something like this or when we put gold vapor and after that calcinate all. Some, we, some structures we give us impression of three-dimensionality, even it is scanning electron microscopy. Of course, atomic force microscopy revealed that is not three-dimensional, it's bidimensional. But the distribution of the spot of the metallic spot which formed the earth has a special gradient, a special or orientation uh, to give the impression of three-dimensional. Well, I think it worth to be studied further. In a other attempt by using binary colloidal system, large sphere 20 microns of polystyrene in mixture with small size sphere silica 264 nanometers in something special condition, we can form a layer, a single layer of cavities, ordered cavities and compact cavities of 20 microns, which have inside their interiors ordered holes of 264 nanometers. This, this we form by comparing with the example of sphere of spheres, we obtain holes of holes. You see how they look at scanning electron microscopy. Also, these super hyperstructures could be a unit for much larger complexity on square centimeter. And here you can see optical, 
diffraction, how the light is diffracted at optical microscopy in a super high complexity. We find a special phenomena which is given by this shape in the third dimension is the second object kind of object because it observed also on the spheres or spheres uh, some ring diffraction which depend on the on the microscope aperture yeah and uh, which is still somehow unknown no device no too much research on this phenomena we have later uh, what is important in what i presented is that colloidal crystal are ordered for all solid materials they can be photonic crystals and they present drug diffraction diffraction they are three dome materials very good um, can be used as colloidal lithography as mask as templates and can reveal interesting uh, effects. And more than all, they are cheap. They are cheap. Two years ago, I tried to fabricate, no, I asked a colleague to buy for me uh, a structured uh, something with uh, lithography, and it cost $400, $400 of a square centimeter. And this one is about one dollar to a square centimeter, much cheap. And more than that, we can shape in the third dimensions. So, a last word as an advice for the younger colleagues: anytime when you feel something in your research activity, don't reject it. It might be a sign that you that your mind saw something, a pattern, a symmetry, and you are the right way. Thank you.